Okay, so most of you know that I already, or most of you have already seen the one that I showed you how to draw this horse. Sorry, I was really nervous, so I didn't really talk much and all of that. And I'm sick, so please excuse my the way I talk, because I don't, <laughs> you know, I'm sick. Anyway, um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to shade a horse, and I hope you enjoy. So, one of the things that I learned about shading, actually, is that, uh, you have to make sure that you're not just shading the edges, because, really, this isn't something that's mostly flat, you know, this is round. And so you have to shade it up to about here, really. I'm just gonna make this horse white for the purpose of, you know, you know, make it shorter. Because darker horses take a lot hard longer to shade him. And you can tell I'm not having much of an organization doing this. I just do what comes to me, what I feel like doing at the time. So I'm not just sticking with here. I might switch a lot. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> it's just the way I draw. Now before you draw every time, I perhaps should have said this, you got to make sure that you know exactly where the sun is. Right here you can see the little light part in the eye, so I'm imagining that the light's about right here, which isn't directly above it, but a little closer, so you have to keep in mind where that sun is at all times. In fact, here I'll just, here's the sun, just so it's a little easier. And the ones that's furthest away from the sun that's most covered. Yeah, if that was the most dark, of course. Kind of obvious, just thought I'd say it. And these are underneath, they're the darkest of all. And shading isn't the same for everything, like... Like I said, like, with hair. You've got to make sure that you don't rub on it because you're going to get more of a blurred effect, which would be better for something like a dolphin or, you know. The thing I like about shading is it brings it so much more life. more easy to believe. You'll realize that when you look at a lot of drawings. I'm gonna have this lightest because that is exposed to my sun here. Remember, the sun is sticking out, it's not directly above it. I'm sorry about my last video. I was so nervous, my hands were shaking, I'm surprised I managed to make this horse look good at all. <laughs> it was my first tutorial video. Which wasn't bad, I just didn't talk. Sure why I did that. I gave him stripes on his hoof. <laughs> it's 
So you'll make mistakes and you'll realize what in the world what I was doing. Like you saw in my last video, I kept erasing whole limbs and stuff. You know, if, if something ever looks wrong to you, you just do, feel free to erase it and try again because you're never going to get it perfect, no matter how much experience you've got. Cheekbone. It's okay if you can't draw like this, because I once drew absolutely awful. I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but I have a horse now and it makes it so much easier because now I can notice things on him and it improves my artwork. So if you have a a cat or a dog at home and you want to draw that, just take lots of pictures, study him, just look at him when he's sitting there next to you and notice certain things. It'll improve it, trust me. Also, I'm a... Uh, I just love to draw most anything, so feel free to just you know, ask. See if you want me to draw something else for you, for you to know how to draw that too. Just, I wouldn't mind a bit. This drawing is definitely my favorite thing to do in the world. Just remember, you know, white horses aren't completely white. <laughs> I'm just saying random stuff that you guys should probably know, but you know. I just look back at my life and I realize that I didn't know this and I didn't know that and I'm just saying it all to you. Okay, I'll stop talking. I'm sorry, I'm probably being annoying. lump here. Muscle. All horses have that. the hard part in my opinion when all those hairs that are going in different directions just suddenly combine and it's all mass chaos and you have to sort it out <laughs> oh 
oh, I didn't say that. You've got to make sure that you bring their hairs, or you bring your pencil strokes in the same direction the hair would go. Makes it look so much more realistic, and I messed up there. I'm sorry about that. I was supposed to make it go the right direction, and I didn't. I'm sorry about that. See, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> It's not really looking white. I would call it maybe a maybe this is a palomino. Palomino. I can't pronounce that. Anyway, those are horses that are kind of blonde in color. Yeah. Has darker spots and lighter spots. I keep talking. I just realized that. <laughs> well, I'm hoping it's make you laugh instead of getting angry, because, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. So I hope you're happy, and again, be sure to write in the comment section below if you want me to do something else. Thank you!